three games this season, nine yellows, one red, but showed red in each of his last four games of last season. So four reds in his last seven games, uh, the referee. Uh, a bit of detail that I did impart to Mr Mark Mosley earlier, just in case he hadn't spotted it. Um, George Fowler, early header, into a space. Vincent wins the next one, and then Joe Ellil, the pressure. Football, professional football, professional sport, it's all about pressure. Everybody knows the pressure's building for that first home win. We'll come to you for just a minute, but good forage forward from Cordner, who's going to get in the box and try and get on the end of something too. Here's Vincent, pulls it back, half cleared. Oh, and there was a moment where it might just have fallen to Cordner. But only as far as Davies, who has a good touch and then sends another ball back in. Effiong header. Cannons back off the underneath of the crossbar. Not a lot of movement. Effiong now coming nearer. Headed away by Fowler, only as far as Vincent, who manages to get a shot in. And it's not a bad one. It's just steered slightly high and slightly wide. I have to say that uh, Fawole and Patterson, very similar shape, size, colour, stature. Same kind of braided hair as well. So I'll have to work carefully on that one. Is McCoy breaking out to the left, finds Vincent. Vincent finds Amati, edge of the penalty, and that's why they want to get him in. Inside the penalty, tries to get his cross in, that's blocked away. Maybe he fouls as he tries to win it back. No foul given, he doesn't win the ball either. He does block well and heads it into touch. And then it's thrown down the line, and El can only help it on towards Amaluza, who's still got the player penalty, in the back of him. Is that a penalty for shots? Nothing given by referee or assistant referee. Ironically, not BBC Sussex commentary at all, although Sussex and Surrey do, of course work together. Oh, it's a good advantage by the referee. Take him on. And Amate is going to go one-on-one -on -one against Corley. He's into the area. He's just lost it temporarily. He's picked it up again. Cleared to Vincent. Vincent goes down a little bit too easily for me. For he shakes his head as if to say, if you think I'm giving that one, you've got another thought coming. Oh, lovely turn from Justin Amaluza to come away with the ball. Plays it through now. Onside, Effiong is into the right-hand side of the area. Shoots. It's blocked by the keeper. But just moments after that, Effiong brilliantly beat the offside trap, got in on goal and shot only for it to be parried by the goalkeeper. Effiong's bearing down now on Elil, goes down inside the penalty, claims a penalty. Go through the other half time shortly, but here Effiong bearing down on the edge of the penalty here again. Shot just over the bar. Show for it other than a clean sheet. In comes the ball to the edge of the area. Heavy touch from Gurung. Half cleared by Vincent up towards Effiong. Good battling again from Elil. There is the half time whistle. And we're about to get ourselves underway. Created more chances though. Here's Favoli on the left, gets the ball in, half cleared. And the referee has given, I think, a penalty to Maidstone. Luca Ashby Hammond on the goal line, away to our right, is bouncy, one side to the other, up steps Booty. Oh, and he nets it superbly, high to the keeper's left, way down the right-hand side, to the byline. Can he get his cross in? He clips it in. Oh, it's headed in by Barham at the near post. The uh, architect of the second goal, he's going one-on-one -on -one up against Harfield. Gets his cross in again, header down and in again! from Bibesh Garung. Disappointment. The great desire from Garung, who's barely made the opposition penalty area in this game. But he sensed it, their tails are up. They fancy it now, Maidstone. Ball over the top, headed across by Elil to uh, Amaluza, shoots. Great goal! Yes! Brilliant goal! What a goal! Left-footed from nothing to give Aldershot Town a little bit of hope. And Justin Amaluza's third goal of the season. Pass, look to be finding Booty, and then he takes it off Booty's feet. Here's Tyler Cordner from distance, tries a little ball into the channel to Amate. He's uh, got, managed to get his shot in, it's wide. I saw him turn and throw his bottle to the back of the dugout when Aldershot went 3-0 down. There's a good headed winner from Cordner, and Aldershot might be onto it in the penalty area. Amate is... And s for Wall. Um, Amate touches it on to Effiong. Effie Young's in the left-hand edge of the box now, tries a little clip in, headed up in the air only as far as Vincent, tries to control it, then he clips it out to the left side where Effie Young is, you really want him in the middle for the cross comes in, header from McCoy wide. 
Ashby Hammond kicks it forward. Easy headed winner for George Fowler. He'll win them all day. Plays it into a pocket of space where Cordner will win it. He might well have gotten away with a little nudge there, but he clips it into a bit of space now to Effiong, who's on side. He's bearing in on goal. He shoots from a tight angle. Final whistle goes. Uh, yeah. You can give. Well, there he goes. So, yeah. all shot one, Maidstone three. Final thoughts of all shot uh, down skipper Joe Parton. Honourable mention for, for Tyler Cordner, I think. I know, obviously. Are you in with a shot? Look below for more information.